Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Codeigniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part 2. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about Codeigniter for Folder Structure. Now what I will do if I back to directory. First of all, let's open app 2 inside VS Code Editor. So I am going to open this folder inside any of the editor you can choose from your system. I have opened inside Visual Studio Code. Now also in the last video we have some error that is actually page has not been rendered here. Also we'll try to fix this inside this video. Now if I back to editor. So if we want to figure out this error first of all we need to change our debugger mode. So same. Inside this file, inside this app to folder, we have a env file available which is indicates about environment variables. So what I will do, simply first of all, let's rename this file from env to .env. Now open up this file, we have as we can see that multi lines of code written inside this env file. These are environment variables. Now if we want to change this environment, ci underscore environment, we need to remove this hash symbol from here. And let's change the value from production to development. Now if I do so, save this change, go and reload this page. Now we are getting a perfect error. Error is all about that is it is unavailable to write. So we need to give the permission to this folder so that the folder will be writable. So what I will do, first of all, let's find out this writable folder, go inside this app too and here we have. So we need to give the permission to this folder. So if I copy this path back to terminal, let's say cd sudo su or simply type chmod minus r indicates recursively triple seven and if I write sudo su this is the password and again type the command let's say and if we go to the browser reload this page now as we can see that the error has been resolved so this is the simple error what we get inside our installed setup now let's understand about the folder structure so as inside our app to folder the most important folder is something app here but remember, our means our URL is retitling or our application is running from this public folder. Why it is running? This is the first question let someone ask from you. It's because inside public folder we have index.php plus htaccess file. If we go here, click on public folder, we have htaccess and index.php file. In the later on videos, we will see that how can we remove public from the URL. But for now, this is the folder which is redirecting our application. Now next we have inside this app, we have our configuration folder. If we want to configure our routes, any application configurations, if we want to define any constants, our database connections, all we need to do inside this config folder. If we want to make our application controllers, simply we need to create our controllers inside this folder. In the older versions of CI, as we know that if suppose we have created some controllers, so we need to extend CI underscore controller. But inside this Codeigniter 4, we need to extend base controller. Base controller, let's say that this is our parent controller. Instead of CI controller, we need to use base controller because CI controller, there is no concept something like this. Now if we click on this home.php which is by default provided controller. Inside this, as we can see that we have defined our namespace. Namespace indicates that this is the controller file we have created inside app and controllers folder. Here we have extends base controller which is parent controller and inside this controller we have a index method which is rendering or calling a view file called welcome underscore message. 
instead in our older version we have this load view so there is no concept something like those commands so simply if we want to find this our let's rendered file simply we need to go inside our views folder and inside this as we can see here we have welcome underscore masses dot php this is all the contents what basically it is rendering here now again back to editor this is all about controllers here we have our database inside this database inside our code igniter 4 we have migrations as well as cedars based concept migrations are those files which is used to give the schema or architecture cedars means that if suppose we want to feed some dummy data inside our database table simply we can use the cedars concept next we have called filters when we will work over those concepts then we will discuss that because right now at this moment it is too complicated this is helpers if suppose inside our whole ci application if we want to create some let's say stand alone functions which we can use throughout any of the controller the best way to make helpers so inside code igniter foo also we have the helpers concept next we have language this is for the globalization or let's say localization to convert our application from one to more languages here we have the leverage concept in code igniter 4 leverage are also called as services in the inside this inside this playlist when we will learn about the leverage then we will talk about all services let's say that in code igniter 3 we have file upload library but inside this code igniter 4 we have file upload as a service next we have let's say third party folder before that we have models folder this is the models folder as we know that the models file are those files which is going to interact with the database table if we want to perform any operations like insert update delete means any operation then models file will be used after that we have third party this is the folder if suppose we want to interact with any third party plugins then we need to store those folders inside this this is for the views folder rest we have this is all about our public means app folder if we close this app folder now we have public folder the name itself clears that public means public accessible files it means and the user's file like style sheets, JavaScript, as well as images means all the assets file of our Code Igniter 4 application will be stored inside this public directory. Let's say that we have created some application. Inside that application, some CSS should be used, some JavaScript plugins should be used. Also, there are some images as well. So we are going to store all those sections not inside this app directory we need to store inside this public directory because this is public accessible folder now go inside this this is for the test cases the vendor here vendor indicates all about the dependencies what we have seen while installing via composer code igniter 4 and the final folder inside this composer installed setup we have writable this writable folder indicates that the our means logged or cache file go and stored inside this this is our temporary file generated folder i strongly recommend or suggest that do, do not touch this writable folder because automatically code igniter 4 takes care of this vendor folder and writable folder so if we want to run our code igniter 4 application very smoothly we do not need to touch this vendor folder and writable folder if suppose inside our application we have file upload functionality so also we can store if suppose images we want to store inside this writable folder also we can store that but the best practice is that as we know that the images or all the assets file are public accessible files so need to store inside this public folder 
Next we have let's say composer.json. Also we have this .env file which stands for environment variable files. In the beginning of this video, we had seen that how can we use this ci underscore environment variable. Also inside this we have base URL. Also we have our database connection as we can see here. Simply pass our database name, username, password. It will connect to our database. And the final point before closing this video, let me explain one more point if we back to directory. As we know that we have downloaded two setups, this is via Composer and this is via our manual download button. So if I make unzip of that, if we go inside this folder, let's press Ctrl T to open up the duplicate tab. Inside this tab, we need to go inside app2 and inside this, we need to go inside this framework-4.0.3. This is the manual download and this is our Composer download. Now if we see inside these two setups, we will find some differences. Here we have app, public, tasks, vendor, writable. Here we have app, public, system, writable. Inside this setup, we don't have any task folder or let's say vendor folder. So vendor folder is nothing as we know that this folder is going to contain all the dependencies. So inside this case, this is here as a system folder. So we don't worry at all. Only we need to look over only this inside this public folder as well as inside this app folder. Also inside this folder means inside this setup, also we can run this application by our development server command called php spark serve. PHP Spark serve com command does not depend that the setup has been installed by means of Composer or Manual. It is going to actually start our server at that application. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.